with 3H Farms. Um, I am going to show you my soap powder. Uh, it's an all-natural laundry soap, and anyone can make it, but if you don't have a food processor to delegate to making laundry soap, I make it. So, if you have sensitive skin, like we do, there are so many different uh, laundry soaps on the market. We had one we used for years and years. And then they changed the formula, added extra scent boosting something, and we broke out. And let me tell you, having everyone go to the doctors, getting steroid creams, it was a mess. Even my husband, who isn't as sensitive skin as we are, had an issue. So, I just decided to scratch that and make my own laundry soap. This is a super easy laundry soap, and all you need in your laundry is a quarter of a cup. I'll show you. This is my little cup. Quarter of a cup. You can find these at the local dollar stores. I got mine at the Dollar Tree. And you literally uh, sprinkle this quarter cup on your laundry. I'll show you my laundry. You see my dirty laundry? Just that's it. I have one of those wash machines that don't fill up with water until you close the lid. So, I have done this several times just going around. I am not doing, like, you know, anything extra. I'm putting it on normal, uh, cool water because we try to save, you know, money by using cold or cool water. Um, and then I just set it up. I mean, super simple. <clears throat> My clothes come out smelling amazing. Um, I use uh, one bar of our soaps. And then I grate it. Um, actually, this time I chopped it. And I put it in a food processor with... Let me show you. I was going to show you the inside of the bag so you could see what it looked like. Can you see that? <clears throat> so I put it in a food processor with two cups of the super washing soda. Not baking soda. And then two cups of the borax. So one bar of soap... And four cups of this stuff. So two and two. Very simple. Um, my bars of soap range anywhere from four four ounces to five ounces, just depending. I hand cut them, so sometimes they're closer to five ounces. So um, you can take any bar of soap and make your laundry soap. So if you're not allergic to certain soaps and certain things, it would be great. Like I would love, I would love to be able to use some of those bar soaps that they have that smell amazing because they're cheaper than the goat's milk soap that I make. Um, so I don't have any bar soaps that don't irritate at least one of us. So I am forced to use our own. You see my vinegar up there. Uh, another quick tip: I forgot to do this while I'm recording. I don't use fabric softener. I use vinegar. Let me get up here. You can see all my laundry room. It's a mess. It's not too bad. It's just we got coats. It's winter time. Okay, so this little... I'm trying to show you. This little spout here. I just fill it up. This is your fabric softener spout. Wherever your fabric softener. Even if you have one of those fancy machines that say H-E... You can do this. It's not going to... It's actually really good to get um, some of those laundry... Um, some of those wash machines, excuse me, have like a mildew smell. I don't know what it is about them. And you even have to buy things to clean your wash machine on some of those front loaders. This is peppermint oil. And I take... And I put in literally three to four drops. So it's about a cup of vinegar... And three to four drops of peppermint. You could use lavender and lemon. That smells amazing. I've done that. Um, I'm really on a peppermint kick right now because not only do I love peppermint, it's the holidays coming up, but um, I just I just love the way it makes the clothes smell. So do the kids. Um, so, anyways, we're gonna wash this, and it'll rinse those. I will not need to even use dryer sheets because of that vinegar. The vinegar. Um, and the peppermint oil is going to make my clothes smell amazing. 
and um, no need to buy those expensive dryer sheets. We can't even use dryer sheets. I made some wool balls. I don't even know where they are now uh, to help kind of those real staticky pants that my kids wear. They're like a um, uh, like a jogging pant, like a wind break, not windbreaker. I don't know what they're made out of, but sometimes they get real staticky even with the vinegar. So I have some wool balls that I made. I just took some yarn of wool and made a ball, put them in some pantyhose. I wish I could find them because I would show you what they look like, but I haven't used them in so long. I know I just put them up somewhere. I'm really good at putting things up and forgetting where I put them, except for everybody else's stuff. My stuff is the, what I do. So anyways, everybody, that is my tip on my laundry. If you have sensitive skin, um, that is a great way of doing it. We're going to start rolling out making laundry soaps because a lot of people just don't have the time. And I can do it in bulk. I'm already making laundry soap for us, so I got a few people wanting me to make them laundry soap. So we'll be rolling out, and I'm going to keep them in these brown paper sacks because... It's eco-friendly. I don't like using plastic. I'm trying to get away from plastics as much as possible. So, like our body butters that I make are going to go in glass jars. And I'm going to try to, you know, reuse them and use reusable stuff. So, and recycled stuff. So, thank you so much for watching our video um, on our channel. Please subscribe, like, share. Um, we have Facebook. We have an Instagram we have a website at 3hfarmstx.com. It shows all our soaps on there. It has links to all our social media. So if you could please hit that subscribe button. Give us some likes. Um, we need some subscribers. I'm wanting to make it up there to the, what is that, the $1,000, 1000 subscribers, $1,000. <laughs> thousand subscriber and then climb my way up because if I could get the more subscribers I could get the better and we could start getting some YouTube revenue yeah help our farms feed our animals so thank you so much for watching our video and have a fantastic day